Hey guys, Steve Simpson here with Central Florida Property Management. I hope everyone's doing well. Right. Q3 market update. It's our second one. Q3 2024 market update. Uh, so yeah, let's just get into it. I'm going to focus more on the rental market this time because it's obviously a bigger part of our business. And we're just seeing some uh, just not, not great stuff out there. So um, I mentioned this in the last video. All this uh, data we're using is publicly available. It's from Zillow. Part of it's going to be from the Orlando Housing, Orlando Re Regional Realtor Association, and then from Redfin. So this is all data you guys can, can find it as well. Um, all right. So here's the Orlando market uh, as of basically today, uh, October 15th, 2024. Senior rent, 2066. It's slightly lower than our average. Um, but there was a couple of things when I was uh, doing some research on this video that I found interesting. So first being that, just to put this in perspective, uh, median rent in June, which was you know, four months ago, was twenty one fifty six, which is a four percent. So basically, since June, median rent has declined ninety dollars a month. So a four percent drop in you know since June. That's pretty substantial. Um, I mean, if you consider that when the market was going crazy, we were seeing thirty and thirty thirty to thirty five percent rent increases on an annualized basis. If you figure a four percent drop. And really, that's like the end of June. So we're talking about, um, you know, call it three, three and a half months. So if you annualize that, you know, we basically be a 12% drop in rents if, it, if the trend continues. And there's reason to believe it won't, but um, it's pretty substantial. And obviously, as a landlord, that's not something we like seeing. Um, I also saw this. If you, if you filter by home type just for houses, average days on market 48. That is crazy. So... We've been in business since 2010. Historically, we've had about 21 day days on market. Um, that's our annual time, which I think is actually healthy. Uh, I was going back. We don't have our data from Q3 yet, but our Q2 days on market is a, was a 26 days. So, you know, we're talking effectively double is what the average days on market on Zillow is uh, compared to what our, ours has been. 26 for us is high, but 48 days, that's a long time. It's basically a month and a half the properties are sitting. And as you guys have probably seen my previous videos or if we've talked on the phone before, vacancy is number one killer of rental property profitability. Um, so minimizing that is is very, very important. Uh, scrolling down here a little bit, I mentioned earlier that we have kind of some reason for some optimism. So you have got to see a trend line here as median rental price over time. The light blue line is last year, dark one is dark blue is this year. And as you notice, it we start this year, it looks like prices started decreasing earlier than last year. So last year, it looks like price started decreasing, call it end of September. Here it started happening in July. Now, does that mean that we're going to, obviously past performance doesn't predict future performance, but does that mean that we're going to see this upswing come earlier? Hopefully. Um, and if not, and you know, we had said at our staff meeting today, it seems like things are turning around a little bit. So maybe that is what, it, maybe that's, that is what it's telling us is that basically, you know, we just kind of front loaded a little dry spell in the market where there was what, about two and a half months here until it kind of started moving up. Maybe we're due for that to, to pop back up. Um, so who knows? Hopefully that's, that's the case. Uh, also notice this, let me go back to the all property types. Typically Orlando over the last, you know, call it year, year and a half, has had a higher average rent than the median for the national. And it looks like it's just now that we've, we've, we're have we a little bit lower. Um, two things about that. One is that uh, this number for the national level has gone up, whereas ours has gone down. So it seems, I'm not sure what to make of it that rents in other areas are going up, which is driving up the national median, while ours is going down. It can mean a lot of things, oversaturation of um, available properties, too much inventory, basically. Uh, and then just note that, you know, so low market temperature cool. That's what it was when we started doing it in June, which kind of corresponds to here, seeing things start to drop a little bit. Um, and I would say, I would agree with Zillow that, the market's cool right now. Um, let me talk briefly about the housing market. So looking at sales, uh, medium price is at 380, which is up per, from from um, 
this time last year. However, priced in all, I'm going to say 380 to uh, about 400 because if you look on Redfin here, it's showing 400. There's some reasons why that's different, different data sources and what have you. But if you again, if you go back to June, the median price was 395 to 409. So we're talking about a 4% decrease in basically what properties are selling for just since June, which is pretty substantial. Um, and then if you look at days on market, days on market is up 16 days year over year, which is a lot. I mean, you're talking about going from 20 uh, to 36. So, you know, what is that like a 75% increase um, year over year? And even just from June, uh, average days on market in June is a 29. So it's a 24% increase just from June. So prices are down. They're taking longer to sell. It's just a cooling market, basically, is, is what it comes down to. Um, real quick, also over here, inventory continues climbing. Um, I believe this was at maybe like 10,700 10, or something like that in June. You know, we're at 11,560. Um, which obviously, you know, if you look at the big picture, it all makes sense. More inventory, prices go down, more higher days on market. Those things all kind of work together. Um, you know, I know I kind of beat the dead horse over here, but to me, the yeah. taking this data, what you want to frame it is that the market's cooling, there's less demand, and as we are, as we always talk about, you want to minimize vacancy. Um, if you think about it this way, let's, if your property is the average property, right? And if three months ago it was 2156 and now it's 2066, it's in your best interest to get the property to this price as quickly as possible. If, assuming this is like the fair market price, because it was going to rent for that anyway, which generally speaking, you know, the market kind of sets the price. The quicker you get there, the quicker you get someone paying rent, the better you are if you look at it from 12 month perspective or even 18 month perspective to put it another way kind of high level it's almost always better to take a little bit less money today have a little bit more money tomorrow especially if tomorrow is you know 48 days away so um we recommend all of our all of our clients to be aggressive with price drops i know that's difficult right now in with insurance rates uh and taxes hoa dues going up but as you can see it's a competitive market right now this is not two years ago it is a renter friendly market more than a landlord friendly market. And, you know, rental real estate is a, is a long-term investment. It's not a short-term investment. Thinking about this from a long-term perspective, just run the numbers, having someone in there paying you rent, even if it's less than you got last year is better than the property just sitting there vacant. Every day that the property sits there vacant, you're losing money. So I know from a, a emotional standpoint, it's a hard pill to swallow, but I would, I would urge you to do a little spreadsheet on it and see how the, how everything shakes out. And I'm sure you would, you would agree that getting to market value as soon as you can and adjusting to get there as quickly as you can will help you financially in the long run of the big picture. Sorry for the long, long video there. Um, hopefully that provides some uh, value. <laughs> if you guys have any questions or comments, please leave them below or give us a shout. Love to talk shop. Hope you guys are doing great.